Alright family, they claim they didn't lost the laundry key. And they know I do my laundry, you know, for free. So they trying to cut out my free laundry. I see where this is going. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. They try to get people to go to that laundry mat, that rainbow laundry mat down the street. Ain't nobody gonna do all that. You understand what I'm saying? For real. I'll take it out the hood before I give it to the hood. Hood ain't doing nothing but giving me problems. For real. Anytime I got to come in here and the white man coming out the door before I can get in good, you know I ain't finna support the hood. Real talk. So, yeah. Now you knew. Real talk. So, yeah, they didn't. They didn't. So-called lost the laundry key. All they got to do is kick in the door. For real. You know, see, they doing everything to try to agitate because they haters. They haters. They done took over my building. You know, I know this had to be Harriet Tubman building. You know, I, I know. I can feel it. You can just feel it. You understand what I'm saying? Because Harriet was like, you know, the Africans, you know, after the war, made the Native Americans start paying rent. Now, she was complaining about $100. This is the laundry key right here. You know what I'm saying? See, the gay guys, they didn't took over the building. They, they really think they run this stuff. You know, it's a dump. You understand what I'm saying? I really don't care. I'm ready to move on because I done completed my mission in this ragged bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Another thing, I keep seeing, um, I keep seeing uh, uh, signs about rental insurance. You understand what I'm saying? Now, they got a key to my place. They can come in, in any time they want. So, you know, they can set fire just like they did, you know, Professor Griff and just like they did uh, Malcolm X House. You understand what I'm saying? Because when they get frustrated, they realize you don't care. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they do. Little fuckboy shit. You know, burn your shit up. Now, why would I pay rental insurance? You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? No one they ain't going to pay even if the motherfucker burn up. You know what they'll say? Well... We didn't do it, you know. Fuck that. They just try to get money out of people and shit, for real. Nigga, I don't care. All this trying to look cute shit, bitch, I done been through it. Everything they trying to, you know, do to me, I done already had my fun. So whatever, if they want me looking stankin' and mummy and all that, I don't care. But we gonna fight this shit tooth and nail. You know what I'm saying? How the hell, you know, they talking about somebody lost the key, but they got a an extra key to everybody building and shit. And you ain't got an extra laundry key. See, this is the kind of fuckboy mentality I'm dealing with. They got a key to my goddamn place. And I made sure, because I went down there, you know, I was like, you know, I left my key in the house or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they gave me the key. For real. Real talk. But you mean to tell me you don't have a spare key to the laundry room? See, they don't want me to do free laundry at, at the... Um, you know, drop-in center that I go to. You understand what I'm saying? So they threw that up to try to, you know, get some kind of... I'm not going to the rainbow laundry, man. No, nah, I'll wash my shit on hands, nigga. We'll go old school for real on these motherfuckers. I ain't got shit to do, nigga. I can wash all day on hand and wear the same shit every day. For real. So if they think they're going to squeeze money out of me, you ain't getting nothing out of me. For real. Swear to God, because after my birthday, May 25th, I'm finna change everything around. Real motherfucker talk. My whole mentality gonna be totally different, nigga. I might be walking around looking real crazy and shit. You never know. Just to show motherfuckers, goddamn it, this is the reason why I get a fucking crazy chick. For real. Real motherfucker talk. You understand what I'm saying? Every time I come in, it's some bad news. You understand what I'm saying? Or a white motherfucker trying to get me to, you know, react and shit. You know, this white boy up in here, he the one stealing everything and causing all the trouble and shit. And then they they want to fucking blame me for shit. You understand what I'm saying? I, I bet every time I leave, they go up in my room being nosy, probably sniffing my underwear and shit, looking at my garbage. I, I, I guarantee you, you can feel it. Because when I was in Uptown, I used to see white hair all in my goddamn room. They probably fucking in my bed and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. It's the type of motherfuckers I'm dealing with. But don't worry, I'm going to keep praying. I, God going to reveal the truth. And the truth is going to be, they ass is going to need me before I need them. And I can't wait because I'm going to laugh my ass off. For real, I swear to God. I don't even use this motherfucker anyway. But when I do use it, you understand what I'm saying? 
you know, I clean up by how myself, you know, and I used to use my little, you know, spend a little money or whatever. It's supposed to be free. Not only that, it used to be a washer, and I've never been here before, but, you know, it, the, the hookups is still in the room. It used to be a washer and a dryer in each unit and a dishwasher. So they stole all them, you understand what I'm saying, because they probably knew they was going to railroad me here, and then they wanted motherfuckers to spend, you know, laundry money so they can drink and drug and shit. This used to be a recovery building. This used to be the goddamn... Uh, the meeting for AA, they still got the goddamn AA stuff on the wall. You understand what I'm saying? They done made it into an office and shit. They ain't doing no AA. You understand what I'm saying? And they think I'm stupid. For real. Not, this is my first time here since I moved in May 31st of 2017 or whatever the fuck year it was. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And then the next year, on the same day, May 31st of 2018, them motherfuckers had a nerve to try to throw a motherfucking goddamn, you know, police report on me. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm dealing with. May 31st, May 31st, May 31st. You know why? Because Elton John movie come out on May 31st with his gay ass. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I can't make this shit up. They spend all day thinking on how to fucking get on my nerves. And then they think I care. And it gave me a fucking goddamn month to month. Talking about you can leave whenever you want. And now that it's hot, they really trying to, you know, railroad your girl and shit for real. I'm ready to move whenever they want to move me someplace and shit for real. Regardless, I'll still be doing videos. If they beat me up, I'm doing videos and shit. And my people be on point for real. And don't let nobody know for real. Do your dirt by your lonely for real. That way a motherfucker won't tell on you and shit. Because all eyes on me and they thirsty. They drink, drug, and smoke in this bitch.